Welcome to Mojo Plays. To kick off the launch of our brand new channel, check out some of our favorite videos from WatchMojo's huge library of gaming content. Then click on the link in the description below to head over to our suggest page and vote on how you would have ranked this list. Voice acting's not as easy. <coughs> Voice acting's not as easy as it looks. Never mind. My men will gun him down. Welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 worst voice acting in video games. Please, your omnipotence, have mercy. For this list, we've selected the most hilariously awful voice acting performances throughout the history of video games. Why? Why am I still alive? Number 10, Grand Theft Auto, London 1969. Things have been getting out of hand and we need you to mend a few broken pipes. AAA production, intricate storylines, amazing acting, and cutscenes are all things that gamers can expect Rockstar to deliver in modern Grand Theft Auto games. I've heard you're a bit tasty, no messing around, or you get a slap. But it wasn't always that way. Take, for example, the oft-forgotten spin-off of the first game, London 1969. We're getting out of here. The older GTA games were pretty fun overhead crime simulation games that set the foundation for later entries in the series. <laughs> But let's be honest, it really messes with the immersion when the crime bosses all sound like your drunk uncle doing his best Hugh Grant impression. Just a little bit pleased with yourself, ain't ya? And rightly so, rightly so. Number nine, the town with no name. Say boy, have you seen my pet spider? I've been looking for him everywhere. This unbelievably bad point and click Western adventure game, which follows a nameless cowboy as he wanders around a poorly rendered town features terrifying character graphics and almost non-existent gameplay. Oh, you've had enough of playing cards with you. Let's take a break. The real star of the show, however, is the sound. The main character sounds like Arnold Schwarzenegger if he were a robot trapped in some sort of abandoned building. Next, you'll be telling me you don't like strangers around here. Not to mention, the sound mixing is often so bad that you actually can't hear the dialogue over the music. Unless, of course, that was on purpose to mask the bad performances. In which case, smart move. Caramba, that really hurt. Oh, I've got a follower now, so bad. Number eight, last alert. Guy, the stealth bomber is in the back of this factory. The first of many Japanese titles on this list suffering from unfortunate translation issues. Last alert is a military-based action title. As the president of the United States, I ask you, save all mankind. I'll try. The North American version had such a small budget that all of the voices were done by only a few people. And the result sounds a lot like when your dad would try to do all the different voices for every character in a storybook he'd read you. Their ability should not be underestimated. What you end up with is a bunch of horribly mismatched voices and characters, including a CIA agent that sounds like a 15 year old boy and a Chinese accent that's nothing short of racist. By the way, Dr. Garcia, how is the development of your ultimate weapon, Indra, coming along? Number seven, Mega Man 8. Something this powerful must not fall into the hands of evil. People have been complaining for years that Capcom has given up on the Mega Man series, canceling several games in the storied franchise. You have been working so hard for justice. They also seem to forget that some of the more recent entries in the main series, especially Mega Man 8, were clearly not high on Capcom's priority list. Shut up! Mega Man 8 is especially frustrating because of how rushed everything feels, with the dialogue featuring several obvious acting mistakes and slip-ups. Seriously, did they not even have enough time to do a couple of redo takes? You must recover all the energy immediately, Mega Man. Also, I didn't realize Elmer Fudd gave up on hunting and started making robots. Seriously, did he just say why we? We find that media. We'll find Dr. Wowie. Number six, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Ah, Alucard, what is your business here? Often considered one of the best games ever made, Symphony of the Night also has some of the most laughably bad dialogue and voice acting ever seen. You seem human, and yet, what do you hear? Luckily, beyond a few interludes where protagonist Alucard meets with characters in Dracula's castle, the dialogue is kept to a minimum. I was called here by humans who wish to pay me tribute. This is one of the few instances where the gameplay is so amazingly good that the game's standing on best games of all time lists isn't affected by Konami's half-assed North American port. What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets. Number five, Deep Fear. You know, we don't have time for these fun and games. Sorry, Chief. 
This survival horror game was never released in North America, but it got an English voice track for those who got to play it in Europe before the Sega Saturn really went belly up. I didn't think you were that old. In Deep Fear, players control John Mayer, not that John Mayer, as he explores various underwater bases that have been overtaken by a strange parasite. Kill. Kill me, please. What? Other than the dialogue, the sound in Deep Fear is often great, with Sega having employed Kenji Kawaii, a famous Japanese composer. Best conditions. Like the Yankees in 96. Why? What's up? He clearly never touched the voice acting, though, because it's robotic, emotionless, and sometimes offensive, especially the architect character who speaks in a high falsetto the whole damn time. This is terrible! My masterpiece is ruined! Oh, what am I gonna do? Number four, Link, the Faces of Evil, and Zelda, the Wand of Gamelon. You dare bring light to my lair? You must die! Link has always been the strong, silent type, except when he's yelling and screaming while he swings his sword. My hero! If Link's voice truly sounds like it does in the Philips CDI Zelda games, then everyone should be grateful that he speaks so seldomly. Oh boy! I'm so hungry, I could eat an Octorok! If they were gonna make him speak, did they have to give him literally the most annoying voice of all time? To say nothing about that creepy animation. Gee, it sure is boring around here. It's lucky for Nintendo that these Philips Zelda games are so rare because with any more exposure, The Legend of Zelda's legacy might have been tarnished forever. Squad alive, we are off. Number three, Resident Evil. Oh my God. It's awful. The original Resident Evil is one of the scariest games of all time, making players feel trapped and claustrophobic. Jill, here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. So it really ruined the immersion when tense zombie survival situations are interspersed with nonsensical lines, crappy acting, and cringeworthy live-action FMV sequences. This case was just too weird. Although everyone is guilty here, the worst offender is Barry Jill Sandwich Burton. That was too close. You were almost a Jill Sandwich. <laughs> You're right! Funnily enough, the game actually had a Japanese voice track too but director Shinji Mikami had it removed because he felt like it didn't fit the North American setting and, wait for it, because it was really bad too. Let me take care of this. Number two, Dynasty Warriors 3. I shall expect good things. Though Dynasty Warriors 3 is the pinnacle of the series' funny voice acting efforts, the most surprising thing is that the developer still hasn't rectified the problem more than 10 years later. Come on, you can do better than that. More recent entries in this hack and slash series still provide endless chuckles with the hammy, overacted performances by various feudal lords. Feel the power of my magic! Also, the English voice actors managed to mispronounce almost every single character name. You must remember this, cow cow. They really should spend more of the money they make releasing nearly identical Dynasty Warriors games every other year and maybe hire some better actors. Forgive me, I must repay. My debts. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Are we going to die like this? <sighs> James, I try. Don't underestimate the enemy. Since you have traveled so very far, be my guest and let me entertain you. We're here at last. Yes. How long I've waited for this moment. Number one, Chaos Wars. I don't even know you, but you need to die. What happens when you mix a bunch of characters from obscure games like Gungrave and Shadow Hearts into an extremely niche strategy RPG crossover? Well, you get Chaos Wars. That's too bad. They're gone now. You smell good. Although the gameplay isn't horrible, the voice acting in this game means you actually might never get to it. The world I came from. How do I get back to where I came from? Imagine the most annoying anime voice you've ever heard. Then, give that voice to every character and sit through cutscene after cutscene of poorly scripted and acted dialogue. Stop it, Nicole. I can't move. Is anyone there? The story goes that the CEO of the company behind the localization actually got different members of his family to record a bunch of the voiceover, as evidenced by the fact that they all share the same last name. So let's just calm down. And you stop punching me with the iron ball in your fish. Do you agree with our list? Yes. Yes. Did we forget any awful video game voice acting? For more Top 10s published every day, 
be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. A dyke? Oh no! Thanks for watching Mojo Plays. Be sure to subscribe and click on the link in the description below to check out our suggestion page and vote on what content you'd like to see us cover next.